Hello. With uh, a lot of time I have on my hands because of this COVID-19 virus, decided to do some repairs on some guitars that I had damaged in a house fire. The guitar I'm trying to fix is a Martin CEO 4 with a mahogany back and it was beautiful. However, uh, fire damage caused the top to separate and uh, the back to come off and a bunch of other water damage. I will show you pictures of what it looked like before. So currently this is what it looks like and <clears throat> I took it to a few uh, luthiers but they just looked at it and scratched their heads so uh, I decided to give it a shot myself. Um, I uh, just finished re-gluing the side to the top on the one side was separated and a lot of the bracing was also loose but I uh, re-glued those and those seem to be okay right now um, this is what it looks like on the front beautiful guitar uh, Hopefully, we can get it back to working order. So, because uh, she was a beauty when she was working. Um, so this is uh, the initial yeah. part of it. I'll show you the back later. But, uh, I cleaned it up tuners still work thankfully the neck is still pretty straight so uh, and this is where I uh, glued it back together I used uh, this tight bond ultimate glue also since I'm a physician I was able to get some syringes to inject close uh, to tight spaces using these spool clamps that work really well to clamp the top onto the sides. We'll also use those for the back. We'll get back to you later. Here is the uh, nameplate and serial number of the guitar. You see it's pretty early with C.F. Martin's autograph and the back it's a mahogany back and uh, with horizontal bracing here's the back a lot of smoke damage some finish damage that I'll try to fix eventually and again here's the rest of the guitar just some other notes about the guitar it's uh, again the Martin CEO 4 mahogany. Uh, it's got mahogany back and sides with an Adirondack, Adirondack spruce top which is a very nice top. Rather expensive uh, <clears throat> mahogany neck. Martin tuners and uh, again here's from the front. Pretty sunburst finish. So I'm going to clean up the back and then try to attach it later and let's hope that we get this baby back to life. Thank you. Okay, back to the guitar repair. Uh, got the uh, top glued on pretty well. I'll show you that in a second. Um, Now, uh, I will have to do, uh, take the binding off and re-glue it, but that shouldn't be too hard. See, there's parts where it's coming off, but that's, that's not hard to fix. Uh, clean it up. Neck looks good. You can look down, down the edge, it looks pretty good. 
Um, here's the inside with the scalloping and the braces. Here's the back. <clears throat> Put back the braces on that. And here's the uh, nameplate again. Uh, the back is okay, but it has needs gonna need some refinishing when I get it back on. Um, also, uh, <clears throat> I need to get some binding for the back as well. I have to buy some new one for that. Okay. So I'm going to start gluing it back on <clears throat> and uh, clamp it up and also I've used this uh, tape to help uh, hold the bi hold the gluing on uh, along with the clamps. It's a Gorilla Tape and it really is strong so I found it to be very useful. So I've been gluing the back back on, um, as you can see, got these spool clamps that are neat. They uh, just screw on to hold it just to the right area you want to clamp. So we'll leave this overnight and see how it goes. Um, I think it's going to be okay though. See you with the next part. Okay, uh, back again. Took the clamps off the guitar, and uh, looks like the back and the front are pretty solid. Um, this is uh, putting a little bit of uh, um, glue to glue down some of the binding that came off. So. But that's just cosmetic. <clears throat> I think if you really wanted to right now, you could string this guitar up and play it. So, uh, again, this is uh, what it looks like. This is my coronavirus project, trying to stay indoors. Uh, here's the back. Um, I'm going to have to replace the binding on the back so I have some and I'll put that on and show you how that looks. But eventually I get this baby cleaned up and see what she can do. Okay, I took the uh, tape off for the binding. Um, not too bad, but I need to clean it up a bit more. A lot of little dings, but this uh, looks like you could play her right now if you really wanted to and string her up. I might just put a couple strings on to see how it holds up. So, uh, But here's the, uh, here's the project so far. There's no binding on the back that I'll need to put on for later, but that's again just cosmetic. But, and there's a bare spot on the back that I need to refinish, but again that's cosmetic. And that Again, I think we could actually play her, play her if we had to. But overall, I'm very happy I was able to bring her back to life. Here she is. The most distant galaxy we've ever observed. Once I get her stringed up, but is this and playing? I'll uh, put another video up. Filled with galaxies, so it's kind of natural to say 
Would there be a final galaxy if you traveled far enough away? Would you finally be Okay, back again for the final uh, story. Uh, here's the guitar before. This is uh, what it looked like after the fire. You can see the binding coming off in the front as well as uh, well, just the neck damage also in the back. A lot of smoke damage. Basically the top and back were coming off totally. There's the back. As you can see. So that was, and as you saw in the beginning, it was totally off before I glued it back on. So, here's this, uh, not the final product, but at least back in playing shape. Here she is, cleaned up a bit, cleaned some of the binding after it's been glued back on. Put some of the binding back on. Um, Obviously, C.F. Martin at the back. With uh, some of the, needs some refinishing, which I can do later on, but a lot of little buffing and polishing. Here's the side that was. Um, coming off, it's all glued back on. So, again, try seeing how it sounds, which is the best test. So, let's try to play you something. Again, uh, this is one of my favorite Beatles songs. Here comes the sun. Hey Google, play Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles, sure, playing on Spotify.
Google. Ah, oh, 